So Jones' open-ended warning about alien Satan, for example, does not make the cut. Read the Bible, it's hiding in plain view, folks. It's not of this world. I don't know exactly what it is or what it's doing, but this is not human intelligence, okay? Number 10, martial law. Sometimes it sucks to be right. Again, I was on television saying that Bin Laden's a CIA asset and looks like he'll attack New York. But it also sucks to be wrong over and over again. Jones frequently claims the U.S. government is about to enforce martial law. The Army was preparing for it back in 2009 as part of staged terror attacks. And in 2015, FEMA was set to take over Texas. And you've heard state judges come out and say, we know there's a martial law plan for Texas and Lubbock and other areas. This is no. But the agents of totalitarian rule won't be who you think. According to Jones and his site Prison Planet in 2009, teenagers will be the American Gestapo ready within two, three years to do seek and destroys. They are training youth corps that's going to be ready in two, three years. Shockingly, this still hasn't happened. Damn lazy teenagers. Unspoken. Oh, hi, we're just here in a red uniform to ask and see if any tap. Number nine, financial collapse. How better to cash in on catastrophe than with forecasts of worse to come? Now, they've already stolen... 60% of the pension funds. In a couple months, it's all going to be gone, dumbasses. Excuse me. On the heels of the 2008 financial crisis, a panicked Jones projected that the American dollar would devalue by 90% in two years. In 2010, this became a devaluation of 50% within two years. carefully. In the next two years, they're going to de devalue your currency by at least 50%. You're so stupid. When the government tells you it's not devalued, you still won't know it's devalued. To top it off, 15 European nations would collapse by June 2012. The global meltdown was also supposed to begin in 2015. All thanks to powerful elites that, in hindsight, are apparently pretty incompetent. It'll be a big toilet. It'll be a big giant toilet like Eastern Europe. Jones has since predicted the EU will be completely dissolved by 2022. So, mark his words. The European Union, as we know it, will be gone by 2022. Number eight, World War III. Who knows? Maybe the end is nigh. But for Alex Jones, it's nigh all the time. My friends, we stand at the precipice. The entire world is rushing towards World War III. While another world war is neither laughable nor impossible, the devil is in the details. Like why or when. For Jones, the why is a satanic cabal behind major world events. It includes the actual demons, Obama and Hillary, who smell like sulfur. She's a freaking demon and she stinks and so is Obama. I go like what? Sulfur. As for the when, in 2006, Jones asserted a 90% chance of bone-shattering mega-attacks within two months that would trigger global war. In 2009, the war would probably happen in the next few years. It's not fear-mongering. It's reality. Then in 2011, it was already happening. And in 2016, it had finally begun again, but in our minds. World War III has begun. And it's a war against sovereign nations. It's a war against independent people. Number seven, the deep state will murder Trump. Sometimes even Avalanche Alex is lost for words. In December 2017, Jones uncovered a nefarious plot to kill the president. His source? His good old-fashioned salt-of-the-earth gut. I think they're going to go ahead and make their move to kill the president. I think, I think in the next uh, 30 days, I think they're going to make an assassination attempt. I just, my gut. It isn't clear who the plotters are in a spittle-flecked rant that rails against the Justice Department, FBI, and the Clintons. But in a follow-up, he specified globalist operatives within the Secret Service. Or some wind-up crazy they've got in their network. Trump and Jones are mutual admirers, and the prospect that Jones has just made up plunges him into paroxysms of defiant passion. But he also gives his prediction a backdoor. Globalists will either give up or activate their selves. So they'll either try to murder the president or, like, not. Number six, Y2K. Of course Jones cut his conspiracy chewing teeth on Y2K. In hindsight, the hysteria around Y2K is difficult to credit. But at the time, people worry 
worried that the rollover of dates into the 2000s would glitch some computer systems. Then there were the prophets of digital apocalypse who foresaw worldwide chaos. On New Year's Eve 1999, a young 2000s would glitch some computer systems. Then there were the prophets of digital apocalypse who foresaw worldwide chaos. On New Year's Eve 1999... Thousands would glitch some computer systems. Then there were the prophets of digital apocalypse who foresaw worldwide chaos. On New Year's Eve 1999, a young Jones milked this paranoia.